Hi. Hi. Uh, I need some help here. Um, my better judgment is telling me that maybe I shouldn't even mention this, but I have to know if I'm going crazy. I woke up this morning with my head about to explode and my jaw feeling like it was dislocated. There were various items in my hotel room that I had never seen before and I have no idea how they got there. So I canceled my appointment and hopped on the jet here. This is what I need to ask you. And I'm hoping that you have no idea what I'm talking about. <sighs> I had this bad dream last night. At least I pray that you're going to tell me that it was a dream. That you were in my hotel room. Oh, oh that wasn't a dream. That was your worst nightmare. Here he is, folks. The latest edition of Nedley. Oh, but wait, let's call this the bewildered version. But it ain't gonna fly. Please, Lois. No, I... you know damn well I was in your hotel room last night. Oh, God. Now, well, it is too late to pray, pal, because you've been busted. <gasps> Did you have to take it so literally? You wanna know what I took literally? You promised that we were married. How many weeks has it been, Ned? What, 10, 12? And bada bing, bada boom, you're already back to your old cheating ways. Well, what, what, I, what do I know? Maybe you've never even left. Oh, well, stop, okay? You've got it all wrong. No, Let's... you've got it all wrong. I am not gonna stand here and let you weasel your way out of this one. I caught you red-handed. We need some privacy. You need more than that. Brenda. Lois, listen, I'm going to go over to rehearse with Miguel, and then I'm going to visit Stone. So if you need me, you call me, okay? Yeah. Whatever you saw, or think you saw, we both know nothing happened. Ned, if it looks like a fish, and it smells like a fish. Don't stand there and tell me it ain't a fish. Lois, I did not betray you. Now, let me tell you what I remember. I was in the hotel bar, okay? Alone. Some fan recognized me. She came over, introduced herself. Gretel somebody. She offered to buy me a drink. I bought her one out of politeness. Not two minutes later, I started to feel deathly ill. I mean, the room was spinning. I couldn't even get myself off the stool. I asked for some help. I vaguely remember her taking me up to my hotel room. Yeah. Well, that sounds like the start to a good party to me. Lois, I was in no shape to party. I passed out. The next thing I remember is you looking down at me and socking me one in the jaw. That's it. Until this morning. And I woke up with Big Ben going off in my head, wondering if it was all a dream. It wasn't a dream, but it wasn't what you think it was either. Lois, you have to believe me. You must think that I am the most naive creature on the face of this earth. No, I think you're the most intuitive and intelligent human being I have ever known. And that is why, given the facts, I'm sure you're going to be able to adjust your original take on what you saw. I'm also convinced that you know me well enough to know that I am not lying. No. You're trying to change the subject. You're trying to put the focus on me and flatter me. You can't erase that bimbo in your room last night. She answered your phone. Her, her stuff was all over your room. Her, her, her underwear and her, her rose and her lipstick was smeared all over their face. What do you think I need, a road map? Well, I agree. I agree, all the pieces are there. But they don't add up to anything. You know what? You are really pushing all of my buttons. This is one thing you swore to me. No more Catherines. Lois, this is not a Catherine. Now, I swore with all my heart that I would never deliberately hurt you or lie to you or betray you. And I meant it. Now, Lois, look me in the eye. No, I don't want to. You are making me sick. Look me in the eye. Now, I solemnly swear to you, I did nothing with that woman or any other woman. So prove it. When you found me in that hotel room, 
You had a hard time waking me up, didn't you? Yeah, so? Well, think about it. Was I in any condition to do anything with anyone, even if I wanted to, which I didn't? I don't know. You could have started drinking after. I didn't. I swear to you, I had one drink in the bar and that was it. And then everything went blotto. So you say. <sighs> okay. How about this? Why would anyone leave their underwear behind? I don't know. Maybe she was in a hurry. Oh, come on. You get dressed, you get dressed. All right, maybe... And you know I'm telling you the truth. I don't remember much, but I know that I didn't cheat on you. I couldn't have. And you believe me. I can see it. What you see is me wanting to believe you. But you can't always get what you want, Ned. What if it was a setup? Maybe she slipped me a Mickey. Some wacko fan drugged you? Stranger things have happened. I know I didn't get this headache from just one scotch. Oh, my God. Oh, I can see the headlines. Four months from now, she'll be claiming she's pregnant with Eddie Mean's baby. <sighs> Let's hope not. But it could be something like that. You know, I know, I know how those girls look at you. You know, it's that horrible combination of lust and ownership. It... Yeah, you know, I mean, you're right. Something's really, really very off here. I mean, under normal circumstances, why would she leave without her lingerie? It... Oh, I want to believe you. I really, I want to believe you so badly. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, this whole thing is really nuts, but, uh, okay, yeah, I believe you. And you forgive me? Yeah, well, I believe you. There's no reason to forgive you. Well, for being so stupid, I swear I will never have a drink with another fan. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, you know what you need? You need a bath. <laughs> you need you need some aspirin and you need a whole lot of kissing. Oh, I love you, Lois. Mm -hmm. I am the luckiest man on the planet. Yeah, and don't you ever forget it either. Mm. <laughs> Make it fast. Hey, Ashton. It's uh, me, Sonny. Um... Something very strange just happened, and I, I need to see you pronto. I know you're, you're probably inclined to pass, but I really think you should reconsider. Fine. Are you at the club? All day. This is about your resignation from L and B. I'm really not interested. Well, I think you ought to withhold judgment. Take a look. Two sets of these were slipped right under my door. Interested yet? Yeah.